In this session, we will extract the differential equations of an electric circuit and then convert them to a transfer function. Mapleson contains an active RC circuit model in the example palette. We first prepare the model by grouping most of the components, apart from the input, into a subsystem. Next, we drag in a voltage sensor and connect it. This provides the output for the subsystem. We change the orientation of the Mapleson icon using the right-click menu option. An output port can be added by dragging the connection line to the border of the subsystem. Now we will use a Maple template to extract and manipulate the equations of the system. First we will select and load the subsystem, linking the Maple worksheet to the Mapleson model. We can see the list of DAE variables and parameters. Next, we can set the parameters to be symbolic using the toggle symbolic button or individually specified. Here, we select and rename two parameters that will remain symbolic in our equations. We can click on the reassign equations button to apply the changes we've just made. The DAEs, ODEs, and algebraic equations of the system are now available to us. Next, we will add Maple execution lines to manipulate the DAEs and get the transfer function of the system. These lines can be added using the toolbar menu or shortcut keys. In this template, the equations are automatically assigned to the variable DAEs. We then convert the differential equations to a transfer function. This uses Maple's tools for dynamic system analysis. You can then generate analysis charts. In this case, we will construct a Bode plot, analyzing the numerical values with the symbolic parameters.